I'm with the Alabama Forestry Commission. I'm a National Wildland Coordinating Group Power Saw Instructor. And recently, due to the April tornadoes that affected Alabama, much of the urban forest has been laid on the ground. And I'm here to instruct you on how to take the proper steps to remove that forest if you decide to use a chainsaw. Often after a tornado or a hurricane, we find debris mixed with trees. We do not recommend that you do any cutting in these type situations because oftentimes we find that the trees react differently than when they would in a normal circumstance, such as this. This tree is split, causing the debris to fly up and hit the operator. The saw chains do not react well around nails or other hard objects that would cause the saw chain to bind or thereby come dull. On behalf of myself and the Alabama Forestry Commission, we hope that this clip has been helpful in keeping you safer while cleaning up after the disaster.